Well, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is your host, Dr. Paulette Harper, and welcome to Now Faith is TV, where faith, books, and business collide. As a two-time award-winning author and nonfiction self-publishing coach for professional business women, coaches, speakers, and entrepreneurs, I teach them how to self-publish books. My clients hire me to coach them in this process of writing and publishing income-producing books that builds their authority, and positions them as an expert in their niche. So we are in for an amazing treat today. On um, our show today, we have a wonderful guest by the name of AC Brown. Um, as we go in through our, our interview, uh, maybe we'll cover how we met. It was amazing as an as a author. Um, it's exciting to meet other people who are in this process of, 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 of becoming who they are. And I had the pleasure of, 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 of meeting AC because he's a model on my one of my covers. And so we'll talk a little bit about that as we go forward. But I want to share with you who he is. So AC Brown is the founder of AC Inc., a brand uh, and at, at uh, author, I mean, uh, a leisure brand company that helps promote health and wellness of, for people of all ages and backgrounds. Uh, he has worked in corporate America, and AC also has appeared on many national advertising campaigns as well. So he's a model. He is a model. He lives in Louisiana, where he is. Well, he was born and raised. And so I'm going to have him come on here and talk a little bit about more about who he is and uh, what makes him the man of God he is, and how the Lord has really blessed his life to um, do what he does in the area of marketplace ministry and uh, as a spokesperson for his national brand. Well, good afternoon, AC. Thank you for joining me on Now Faith is TV. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. I want to thank you for having me on your show. I'm very appreciative of this opportunity and I'm doing well, Paulette. I have no complaints. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, I'm excited about you being here and talking to um, the viewers about who you are and how faith really plays a role in uh, in your brand, in your mm -hmm. business, and what you do as a as an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur. So, um, I had the pleasure of meeting uh, AC some time ago when I wrote my first novel, Secret Places Revealed. And he is actually the model on my cover. And at the time when I wrote my book, of course, I didn't know him. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't know him, but uh, through some uh, interchanging or some engagement on Facebook, um, I found out who he was, that he was a real person on the cover of my yes. book. <laughs> <laughs> And so we have been friends ever since, you know, and just, um, and I will just add this too. He is actually um, the character in my book, Aaron Blackman. Uh, he is AC Brown and that <laughs> as well, because I had the opportunity to interview him. And so, uh, so AC, talk to us about um, your brand, what you do, and how you have really been able to brand yourself as an entrepreneur, you know, and speak to those who are really on this journey of being an entrepreneur and how you go about branding yourself. Yeah, well, first, I would like to say that my company is it's an athleisure brand, and the base and the foundation of it is centered around health, wellness, and fitness. And the fitness component. I've always been into fitness and it's very important, especially being an entrepreneur. And I know a lot of people talk about getting in shape and eating better, but in order to be an entrepreneur and because it requires a lot of energy and a, and a lot of mental focus and fortitude. So the better your health is, the more energy you'll have and the more focus you'll be able to be in pursuing whatever interest you are from a business standpoint. And the wellness component is about the mental health because the mindset that you have and being able to focus and be detailed and all the things that go into being an entrepreneur is very important and that's what i wanted my brand to center around because it it all goes and ties together and 
I also have a nonprofit, which is the Dante, Andrew, and Annie. And a component of it is also built around and focuses on wellness and the, the overall health of a person. And these are just components that from a spirit standpoint, and when you talked about your show was centered around the, the faith and all that, my company and how I move is 100% based on my faith. There are decisions and choices that I make that I do not make them without consulting God first. And being a caretaker, because I'm a caretaker for my, not only my parents, my mother and father, but also my aunt. So that's what I do full time, along with being a deacon at my church. So I have those responsibilities and I also have my businesses that I have to tend to. So I do not attempt to do any of this without God's help, both from a physical standpoint, mental, spiritual, emotionally all of that. So my faith is very, very strong. And when I talk to other persons about um, going into business or doing this thing, I always tell them to talk to God about it. There's a reason that God asked for your life. And what he wants to do is he knows our dreams and our aspirations and our goals because he put a lot of things in us. And whatever he put in us, he wants back out of them. But it's not for us, it's for others. So when you ask God and talk to God about it, God will guide you through this entire process. Doesn't mean you won't have bumps and bruises or you won't have moments of disappointment, but you'll be in a peaceful state as you're going through it. And that's basically what both of my companies are centered around. It's a health, wellness, and fitness component of it. Wonderful, wonderful. So one of the things that you said was um, the mental, um, the mental aspect of health mm -hmm. and wellness, and and the mindset, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of times, um, I know for uh, when I'm coaching uh, authors, that's the first thing that I want I need to deal with is their mindset. Mm -hmm. Because if their mind is not right, they're not going to be able to write a book. You know, no and so when you when you think about mindset as it comes to health and wellness, what have you found to be the number one reason why people don't make that a priority? Most people that I encounter are they're more focused on really the outcome or what they actually want. So they start off with what they have that looks like it can get them what it is that they want. And what happens is they miss out on all of the things that are going to be necessary that goes into pursuing this and dealing with this. And I always tell people, no matter, it's about money, but it's not about money. And what that means is when I say that, there's going to be more time that you're going to spend dealing with yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, feelings, and how things are going more so than money is concerned. So you're gonna hear things from other persons. You're gonna get the doubts. You're gonna hear, you should have done it this way. You should have done it that way. And all that, if you're not positioned and you're not locked in mentally, I call it noise. Or you get the social media noise. There's a lot of good information on social media, but there's also a lot of clutter. And if you're not grounded, and focus, and that noise begins to seep in, then you're going to get thrown off track. And this takes, I know for me, it takes everything I have. I've got to be focused and locked in because I have so many different responsibilities. And a lot of the responsibilities are also emotional because I'm watching my parents basically deteriorate in, in front of my eyes, and I'm very close to my family. But I can't take my parents' situation with me everywhere I go as I work my business. So I have to compartmentalize what's going on with my parents. And that's mental. And a lot of times when people go to do this business thing, they're just locked in on, okay, how much money does it take me to get this? And how much money am I going to get? But there's so much more that goes into it than just finances. It's, you got to be mentally focused and locked in. Yeah, I think that's so good because um, you're absolutely correct. We think about the end result, 
you mm -hmm. know, and not the process that gets us there. And what happens when things don't go the way we want it to go? What happens when we've invested in a product or a service and even in our own uh, services that we provide? Mm -hmm. You know, what happens if, you know, we put money out there and we don't see anything come back? You know, how do we deal with that? You know, um, how do we handle the disappointments when we have a great product and there are no sales? You know, exactly. So, you know, when you talk about mentally, um, how do we deal with that? And so um, I think for a lot of entrepreneurs, you were right about what you said, is the fact that we think about the money at the end of what we're gonna make, but not that transformation that's gonna take place to get mm -hmm. there, you know? And it starts with our minds. And so, you know, let's talk about what, um, you know, what your brand is, you shared with us, but, um, you you are into health and fitness. What what product line do you have that really signifies who you are and uh, and your label that you you know have in the marketplace? I currently have what I call as a pieces priceless brand, and right now it consists of hoodies and your dry fit t shirts. But the messaging behind it is the pieces priceless is you can't buy, can't rent, you can't lease the peace component. And I wanted to keep an athletic feel to that as well, which is the reason that I, I put it on the hoodies and the fitness wear because I want when people to go work out that, yeah, they're focused on their fitness, they're focused on their health, but they also even want to work out in a peaceful state of mind. Because if you're not at peace, you can't even have a legitimate workout if you're thinking about the, what you're going to do after the workout or what life is doing to you and all the things that's going on. So I wanted that line to make sure that it focus in on that. And as far as my regular line where I just have the AC Brown brand or either I have the, the pyramid with the arrows going around it component. Now what the pyramid is, there, there are 19 building blocks. If you see it, it's got 19 blocks and it's surrounded by arrows and each one of those building blocks represents a different aspect of my life an example one of those blocks represents faith another humility family prayer faith and all those components are what makes up my brand so if i ever got to where i didn't have faith in god uh, i became arrogant and didn't have humility and i didn't have the family structure then that makes my brand a fraud, which I am not. And I'm in the process of also working on getting a distribution deal because I carry sweat, sweatpants, um, joggers, your hoodies, the um, dry fit shirts, because I want to have the, the long sleeve and the short sleeve. So it covers all seasons. And I like colors. So I have black orange, red, blues, pinks, and those colors represent like nature and vibrancy. So it's not just colors to be colors. I want the colors to also have a representation of peace and tranquility. So that's a lot of what my line is centered around. And as I go down the road and God continues to expand my brand, I'll get into other pieces as well. Awesome. Awesome. And so what has been, uh, how long, um, when did you launch your brand of your, um, your, your athletic wear? And basically in November of 2018. Okay. I, I've been modeling since I was 34, but the brand component <clears throat> didn't come into place until 2018. Now someone may ask why so long? Well, like you stated in an opening, I have a corporate America background, but I've always <clears throat> wanted my own brand. Mm -hmm. And I met my business manager and he helped me establish that and get everything in order. So it came the branding component. And he was like, one of the best ways to get exposure for your brand is to create a clothing line or get some merchandise for yourself. Mm -hmm. And we originally started out with just t-shirts, regular cotton t-shirts. But then I was like, I have to have more pieces because I really want to get into the, the fitness component because I'm in the sports a lot. So that's where the 
I started out with hoodies, then I ended up with leggings and and I've got the, the dry fit shirt. So I'm just looking to expand more, but it's probably like four years ago, four years. So now I'm going into my fifth year mm -hmm. and now things are beginning to, God is beginning to elevate me now. That's and I, cool. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Yeah, you know, uh, we're going to learn a whole lot in this entrepreneur game, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's so, a lot. You know, so, some lessons are like disappointing, but some lessons are like, wow, okay. <laughs> For real. Yeah. So, you know, it's so important when you talk about branding yourself as an entrepreneur. And I and I know um, for me, it's branding myself, you know, as a storyteller. And that's my products, mm -hmm. my books, my services that I offer. And so everybody has to whatever uh, entrepreneur, whatever space you're in, there has to be some a signature mark about yourself, you know, where people can identify you other than the colors, you know. Mm -hmm. It's the products and the services that you offer um, your clientele, you know. And so you've been in this game for a minute now. And so you have a product line, which is amazing. I see I see your shirt right there that has your yes. name on there, AC Brown. Okay, that's how you represent. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. You represent well. You represent well. Yeah. Sorry, my uniform. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and that's really what you have to do. It really is. And so one of the things you mentioned, I remember when we first met, um, you may have been, um, I don't know if you were just starting out with your 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 brand or whatnot, but I I knew you uh as a as a model, okay? Yes. And I remember when um I was entered when we introduced yourself on uh we were introduced on Facebook, I went to Google you, you know, and I said, yes. Oh wow. <laughs> He's a model. He's a little TV. <laughs> he he really somebody. Love it. <laughs> okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, you know. And so, anyways, I was just and still am, you know, just really blessed by our relationship and 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 how God brought that together. God sent. You know, definitely and God So, sent. um, you know, you started. You 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 were a model. And so, how has are you still modeling now, or are you just focused in on branding yourself with your athletic wear? No, I'm I'm deep into the modeling still, and I actually have there are some deals that are on the table for me currently in Europe that I should be finding about finding out about in the next probably the next month and a half or so. Nice. I have an an exciting event that the, the paperwork is still being finalized on it for the, an event that's taking place at the Versace Mansion in Miami. So I'm excited about that very much. So actually, I just got that news today and they're still finalizing and working on the details but i'm very very excited about that and the the brands that i'm working on i'm i'm on the table with brands as such as movado balenciaga um wow I'm trying to think of the game the guy's name um Ferragamo shoes. I just put it that way salvatore okay. Ferragamo. so i'm being considered for a bunch of things that, that i just love and the the modeling component is my that's my passion yeah that's the foundation and and the way i describe that is that's personal for me the the overall branding it has a lot of different business components to it but the modeling is is personal for me yeah so yeah. that's always going to be my heart my foundation and i'm able god has elevated me to where I can not only do it on a commercial basis, but also on a high fashion basis. So I'm I'm happy and I'm and I'm pleased that, that God is working in my life this way. Yeah, that that's a blessing, you know, because um, you know, he said he would give us the desires of our hearts, yes. you know. And so when we really, you know, say yes to him and serve in the capacity in which he's called us, you know, where you know it's ministry, it's family, mm -hmm. you know, but then also he gives us what our passion is. He allows us to really showcase our passions, you know. And so, you know, modeling and branding yourself. And I think it's amazing how you're out there, you know, and you are really um, taking center stage in a lot of these platforms mm -hmm. to really continue to um, draw attention to who you are as a model. 
and who you are as a spokesperson for those who are, you know, going through health and wellness as well. And so you're talking about, you know, spirit, soul and mm -hmm. body components. Yes you know, of the individual. And I think that's a, that's, that's really great. And so you have a couple of businesses, um, you have a nonprofit that you do as well. How do you balance uh, all the things that you want to do with, you know, being a caretaker as well? How do you put the balance in all of that? On a day-to-day -day basis, I have to have my time management skills on point. And first and foremost, I ask God for his wisdom and his guidance and his strength because he's the one that's placed these responsibilities on me. Even when I started my brand back in 2018, his instructions were, you will be able to start your business, but it's not time for you to leave yet. So the blessings, if you listen to me and you follow me, I'm going to allow you to start your business basically sit right there in a small town of Chatham and run your business and it's going to grow even though it's not time for you to leave yet. And that leave I'm speaking of is not, oh, I can't leave the area and, and take a trip. It's just that when, when he waters these seeds that, that I've been planting, the going is I'm gonna be going and I'm gonna be going and going and have to be gone away from my family, which is, the toughest part of all of this is leaving them. The business part for me is the, the simple part. But the I have to be organized because I have to take care of myself and I have to take care of them and see after them. And there's a lot of moving and running around. So I have to be very, very focused on a daily basis. And this entrepreneur thing is this is it's 24 hours, seven days a week. And that doesn't mean a person is actually physically awake 24 hours, but what it is from an alert standpoint, I have to be prepared. And I tell anybody, you want to be prepared for phone calls, text messaging, uh, requests at any given moment. Because once you begin to put yourself out here, you never know where God is going to take it, um, who he's going to put your information in front of. And you have to be prepared for that to come back. So anything that I put out, I always say it's going to land somewhere. And I have to be prepared for just like when you sent this request. I'm not going to say I was expecting it, but I was expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why there was no hesitation. And for those persons that, that are like to be very meticulous and they have to go by their schedule, there are some things as an entrepreneur you're going to be able to plan for. Mm -hmm. And then there are some decisions and choices that you're going to have to make like right then. Yeah. You're not going to have time to go by and back and research and get comfortable before you make the decision. Sometimes you have to make the decision, go and live with the results. And even if it doesn't turn out the way you want, you got to go back at it again. Doesn't mean I don't believe in the word failure. Mm -hmm. I know what it's mean and I know how people use it, but I don't believe in, in failure. I just believe in, okay, that didn't work or it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to or I thought it was. So do I need to make an adjustment or drop that all together and go back to the drawing board and come up with something new? So all these things go into how I'm able to organize and juggle all these things because God doesn't put on you any more mm -hmm. than you can bear. And that's just where my belief and my faith in him is. And yeah. mm -hmm. he's never failed me. Yeah. He yeah. hasn't. Yeah. I think that's really good what you just shared. Um, yeah. You, you have to, as an entrepreneur, especially if you are, you know, you're out in the public and you're looking for opportunities, you know, mm -hmm. you should be looking for opportunities should be. beyond different stages because everybody is going to have a different audience where you can reach them. And so, you know, mm -hmm. you said one thing when, when I sent you the, the invite, um, you were surprised, but yeah, you wasn't surprised. You know, <laughs> yes. you, you you sit in expectation and expectation. And I don't think that, you know, it's not being haughty or anything like that. It's the fact that you're in a position um, and you're out there. You you people know you. They can mm -hmm. Google you. You know, you're not a, you're mm -hmm. not a, a, you're not a secret to people. Exactly. You know? So you're out there. And so you're looking for that exposure. And so, as you mentioned, you expect it. And so a lot of us 
um, don't get ready. We get no. ready when the opportunity comes, but we, are, we, we should be ready at every no. moment, at every time to say yes. yes without hesitation, without thinking about, oh, uh, you know, well, let me get back to you, <laughs> you know? Yes, because yeah. that even, yeah. that has an effect on the person's presenting the opportunity as well. Right. If they detect most, most progressive persons, when I say business persons, successful business people, that we know the difference between mm, being cautious versus mm, uh, not being confident and not being prepared. And when you get the feeling that person is not prepared, then that puts them on guard. And it's like, you know what? Mm, I might need to go another direction versus, okay. And sometimes I don't have the answer to something that someone asks, but I'll tell them, you know what? Yeah, go ahead and put me down. Go ahead and put me down. Then I'll go back and come up with a way to make sure that I'll follow through on my word yeah. because I don't want to lose that contact yeah. or that opportunity. And you never know how God, the, the beauty of God is, you never know how God is going to bless you right? or what door he's going to open yeah. up. Yeah. And a lot of people talk about, well, it's God's timing. Well, God's timing plus you're not being prepared equals yeah. missed opportunity. opportunity. Versus God's time and plus you being prepared equals success. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. That is so good. All right. So um, as we come to a close, why don't you share with the, the uh, viewers, how can they contact you? And um, so they can get your products, have you on their stage and whatnot. So how can people contact you? Uh, you can contact me on my email at ACY brown the number eight seven at gmail.com my website is www.acybrown.com and anyone that has anything publicity or media wise my publicist email is the posh firm at gmail.com that's t-h-e-p-o-s-h -E firm at gmail.com or for business opportunities you can contact anthony little and his email address is Anthony Little704 at gmail.com. So those are the different ways you can contact me. And if you need to Google me, I always keep things on, under my name. So you won't see Jack in the Box getting off.com and all that. It's going to be acybrown.com or just type in AC Brown and you'll find me. Awesome. And, fo awesome. and follow me. I, I have a lot going on that, that's positive and good. So follow me. Yes, 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 you do. And so I want to thank you so much for coming on Now Faith is TV and sharing with us your journey to entrepreneurship and then really what, you know, the Lord is doing in your life. And so um, stick around here uh, after the show and uh, we will uh, talk a little bit more. And so um, those of you who are tuning in today, I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in uh, to this amazing episode. And if those of you who are looking for uh, a coach, a business coach, here I am. Join me. You can go to my website as well, pauletteharper.com. And until next time, uh, come back here and we greet you at Now Faith is TV.